I love John Ford's 1957 movie, The Wings of Eagles, starring John Wayne. It's got some problems as an overall movie. It bounces back and forth a little too jarringly between comedy and pathos. But I think that's because it was such a labor of love for director John Ford. It's about a real-life figure who was a friend and collaborator of Ford's, a former naval aviator turned screenwriter named Spig Weed. John Ford wanted to tell all of his Spig Weed stories, the funny ones and the heartbreaking ones. Maybe in this case, another director, even though they might not be as talented as John Ford, might have been able to distance themselves from the subject matter a little bit and tell a more focused story. But if the parts don't always fit together, they're still great parts. John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara uh, always work well together, no matter what the subject matter. And O'Hara gets a much more nuanced character in this movie than many women did in the days of classic Hollywood. She's neither a saint nor a femme fatale. She's a human being. John Wayne, in contrast to some of his usual characters, spends a large portion of the film either in bed or on crutches and makes it believable. And for John Ford fans, this movie also features a rare treat. Ford himself is a character called John Dodge and played by one of Ford's stock company regulars, Ward Bond, who is clearly having fun with an affectionate send-up of the boss. So give this movie a chance. If you like John Ford, you'll find a lot to like about it.